KCAL News Mornings. Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday, September 13th. I'm Rachel Kim. I'm Christine Lazar. Rudabe Shabazi is off. And thank you for waking up with us here on KCAL News and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. Here are some of the stories we're tracking this morning. I can smell the smoke. Like I said, it smells like a barbecue in the middle of the summer. A dangerous wake up call after flames break out in an apartment building. Our Mark Lou has the latest on the fire straight from the desk. Everything will be all right. We're strong enough to do that. Some residents impacted by fires across SoCal on the road to recovery. But this morning, firefighters still battling the biggest one in the state. We're live with an update on the bridge fire. We owe it to the voters to have another debate. We've done two debates, and because they were successful, there will be no third debate. Former President Trump shutting down another face-off with Vice President Harris, the latest from the campaign trail, with the election just 53 days away. Yeah, a lot going on this morning, but first, as always, let's get a check on your weekend ahead weather with meteorologist Amber Lee. A cool down, we feel it. Yeah, and I think everyone's excited. Kind of a redo from last week when it was yes. way too hot. We had the record temperatures. We're actually looking at temperatures a little cooler, kind of like yesterday. So if you liked yesterday, you're going to like today. But I do want to tell you that we are dealing with this um, air quality alert that's been extended again until later tonight. And that's because we, even though a lot of the wildfires uh, have better containment than yesterday, we still have a lot of this polluting, uh, the wildfires polluting our atmosphere. So that's why if you smell smoke or see ash, you're asked to stay indoors. And you can see all of these neighborhoods are affected from the San Gabriel Valley all the way to the Coachella Valley. I do want to show you our smoke forecast. So you can see a lot of it is moving over the high deserts and the mountains. However, look at our temperatures. Our temperatures are once again very similar to yesterday. 70s and 80s, but things are changing even more. We're talking even cooler conditions as we head into the next few days. So coming up in my next weather forecast, I'll tell you about two rain chances. Back to you. All right, Amber, thank you. And as we head out the door, we're taking a look right now at the issue we have in the Inland Empire this morning, causing a backup on the 60 and the 215. Speeds down to 7 miles per hour. This is because of the Sigler heading 60 westbound at Rubido Boulevard. That right lane is blocked off, and you can see it's almost impacting your commute out of Moreno Valley this morning, heading toward that split. So give yourself that extra time you might need as you head out the door, and I'll let you know as soon as that clears up. We do have some slowing on the 91 this morning. This is in the westbound direction because of an early your issue. We had eastbound. Drivers were looking over to see what was going on. So westbound will take you 36 minutes from Tyler to the 241. Orange County are looking pretty good right now. We do have SkyCal overhead though on the 91 in Buena Park. You can see this area is moving nicely. And leaving you with a look at LA, we do have some red building on the 110 this morning heading northbound. I'll have your travel times there in just a bit. Christine, back to you. Kalina, thank you. We have some breaking news right now. A major fire ripping through an apartment complex, sending multiple people to the hospital. Our assignment manager, Mark Liu, is at the desk with the details. Mark, good morning. Uh, good morning, Christine. Yeah, at least three people taken to the hospital, one of them in critical condition. Multiple buildings burned, all from a fire that started at a construction site. Now, we've had a live breaking news photographer at the scene all morning. These are pictures from what is the remnants of that construction site. You can see the fire is now out. Now, the, this, a fire at this construction site, it's, it ignited the three-story building next to it. This is in Chinatown on Bunker Hill Avenue, not far from where College Street crosses over the 110 freeway. That's Northwest Chinatown. Let me show you some video from SkyCal from when that fire was still burning. Now, firefighters were called at about 345 this morning for the smoke and flames coming out of the construction site and fire quickly spread to this building, an adjacent occupied apartment. Everyone there had to be evacuated. In that process, firefighters found three people with injuries from this fire, one of them in critical. That person was rushed to the hospital. There was also a firefighter with minor injuries. They're gonna be okay. Now, in addition to the very severe damage that that building suffered, two others on either side of that construction yard were damaged as well. People who live in this area say this construction site has burned before. Take a listen. Uh, so we have a total of three buildings that have been affected right now, uh, but there is enough, there's a lot, there's going to be some smoke damage and uh, we have firefighters in a, in a fourth building as well. We came outside, we see the neighbors, we see the firefighters and the building on fire. Um, and what's crazy is they've been building this structure for about two years now. So for the last couple of months, houses people have been setting that building on fire. There have been fires for months. Yeah, so uh, th this Fire is now out, thankfully. It took them about an hour and 36 minutes to get this fire out. But I checked our archives. 
We did a story about a fire just 11 days ago in a building right across the street on New Depot Avenue. It was a mixed use building, very similar to the ones that you see here. So this area had been plagued by fires for a while. An arson team is now going to investigate the cause of the fire at that construction site this morning. That is the very latest here from the desk. I'll send it back to you. Mark, thank you. Now you can get your KCAL news, weather, and live stream all in one place on the CBS News app. Download it free today.